All right, we're checking out the only game where the bigger I get, the more painful my life becomes. It's GTA. Alex apparently still thinks I need to stop crashing practice, so he's created a whole new challenge. Every time I crash, the vehicle that I'm driving will suddenly get bigger. The transformations will get more and more stupid until eventually I just can't beat the board anymore. However, he mentioned sometimes it's good to have a big car. The challenges will get more and more insane, and at the end, I'm gonna need a car of a certain size in order to win. Let's do this. This is where it all starts. Do you like bowling? When you're involved, no, Alex, I don't. Oh my god. Alex is the only person I know that can build a legitimate bowling lane in GTA and make me question my life's choices. So let me try and just, oh my god, let me try and describe to you how this works. He's built a script where when I, oh god. <laughs> Whenever I get into an accident, roughly one to two seconds afterward, the script triggers and it goes through all these different vehicles and then forcibly selects one to put me in. And of course, after I get hit, I get a second or two of immunity so that I don't go to scroll through every single vehicle in the entire script in one second. Although I'm apparently going to do that without actually trying. And so what happens is, you can actually hear in the background the script moving through the vehicle selection in order to put me in a different car. The really scary part is that I guess all the different challenges, does that count as a, yep, apparently it does. Apparently all the different sections have different cars that I'm going to turn into. And see here, I can't make it under that little lip. Oh, but I can make it around here. So maybe having a big car like this isn't that bad at the moment. I might actually want the big car here now. So I can take some damage, I can take some hits. I don't- Whoa! <laughs> that is not how a bowling ball works! And of course, as you would expect- Oh my god. The only way for me to get back to a small vehicle is to reload the entire challenge. Which means going back to the beginning! Also, alright. That's- okay. So real quick, does anyone else notice that the pins and the bowling balls have absolutely no congruency at all? Look, the balls are almost coming at me like they're heat-seeking balls. Okay, so that should just be one car. Yeah, okay. So after I get hit, I get about, it looks like three seconds or so of immunity. I'm gonna be going through a lot of go-karts on this level. A lot of go-karts. All right, so the, the bowling balls just make 90 degree turns like it's no big deal. Whoever's inside the bowling ball driving those things is gonna get whiplash. Oh God. Did that count? Yep. I love how he says crash. Oh my god! I love how he says crash, but just like rubbing my tire against one of the walls or something like that is enough to make this work. Oh, I can go under this. That's kind of cool. So we're only at the second level of car right now, so that's pretty good. I can see an arrow way down at the end of the bowling alley too. You see it? So I'm assuming... Oh... I'm a <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! That was possibly the best GTA dodge I've ever seen. I thought it hit me at first, but I think it was just the camera catching up. Ow! <laughs> Come on! It spawned on top of me! What do you want? <laughs> okay. It's fine! <laughs> I, I got all this way, and now things are suddenly starting to go downhill. All right, so there is a jump that I have to get over. So let me just get past all the balls, not have one spawn directly on me. Then we're gonna do a big jump. This car is way too slow. So this is an instance where I would need a different car. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna need something fast. All right, I've been using Redwood for a while, and it can make that little spot right there, and it Boom. I'm gonna go drown now. Oh wait, I'm not going to drown. This thing floats in the water. I hadn't actually made it past the Liberator yet, so I kind of wanted to know what vehicle spawns after that one. It's this. I'm in an 18-wheeler right now. Oh, the 18 wheeler is pretty fast. Oh, that's a crash. Yep. Oh my god! I'm in the disco van! How fast is the disco bus? Is this thing fast enough to make that jump? What comes after the disco bus? I might find out in a second. I have no idea. What happened there? Oh no! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what's tap to work! You may be saying to yourself, Greg, why are you doing donuts in the middle of the challenge? I'm not. This thing just doesn't have any traction. Okay, this run is looking good. Oh yeah. Well. Oh, I didn't fall off. Well, I almost fell off there. Rally truck! Go! 
this is probably the worst vehicle to do this in. It has no traction at all. Oh, wow, it's got good top speed though. Hey! Don't mind me just doing a full 180. What is this? What is this? Find four hidden numbers plus the pink ball thinks you're a pin. What? All right, so there's a ramp here and then another arrow. Find four hidden numbers. All right, well, let's activate it. Oh my God, what is happening? What is happening? Why, why? Oh, 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 my, oh my God, the pink ball keeps chasing me and the purple ball keeps throwing a strike. What did you build here, Alex? It's like a bowling minefield. Ah! So I did, God. Okay, I think what I'm supposed to do here is this thing just chases me relentlessly. Ah, no! Oh, it just saved me! The transformation it saved me! <laughs> I think what I'm supposed to do is use the booster that's being hidden inside of all of the, the bowling pins. And then, oh no. And then the booster will allow me to get the speed to jump over that that ramp. But I don't I don't know where what it's talking about with the 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 numbers. There's no number on the ball. I'm stuck and I can't get up. Whoa, whoa. While I've been stuck though, did you see that in the background? Look, one of the pins, yeah. The one pin all the way on the right has a zero on it. Oh, I I managed to get up. That's weird. So I assume in this challenge, this is the last vehicle oh it's so slow all right let me see if i can get all the other numbers so there is a zero i just lift the pin up and take a look that way god this is like a nightmare ah the volleyball is pushing me to my death back to the beginning i think something that's really concerning me is this run is going so well i haven't gotten into i haven't gotten into a single crash i don't know if i can make this jump <laughs> <laughs> I can't even make it. I that was a perfect run, Alex. I should be rewarded. All right, I I basically uh, I've shown myself I could do it. I don't need to try for the perfect run again. If I can do it with this car, though, that would be great. Parkour. <laughs> I felt my life flash before me there. A big jump. I don't want to get right in the path of the bowling ball because it looks like the pins reset every so often and then the bowling ball does too. Okay, so I need three more numbers. We have zero and I just got my vehicle crash. So now it's slightly worse. That's going to be another vehicle crash. I'm slowly, I can't make this jump with this. Well, maybe I can with the boost. Okay, I kind of understand now how this challenge works. We kind of have to sit behind the explosion of pins. Yeah, see? And then, oh, six. Okay, so I saw a six. So zero, six, that wasn't good. No. Okay, zero, six. Yeah, you can clearly see the six there. Three. Okay, I saw a three on the left. And then a one. Okay, zero, Six three one or zero nine three one. I don't know if that's it. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I, but I got all the numbers. Oh god! I've been trying to line this up perfectly forever. Here we go! Yeah, baby! No! Four million times the charm! There we go! And then what is this? Oh, it catches the bowling ball, so it doesn't follow me forever. That's that's actually kind of amazing. The, that pink bowling ball hounded me to the ends of the earth. You have no idea. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, eight, three, no. So there's two here. Three, six, one, zero, or is it a nine? I think I'm gonna. I said six first. I think so. I'm gonna try the six. None of, none of these other ones are right. Also, I had to mention because it's Alex, of course, there's a 6669, really. Okay, I've been thinking about this for a while. We're gonna choose the wrong one. Mostly I wanna know what happens, but I know I can get back here. So I just wanna see. So I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna pick this one because I know it's wrong. All right, so you just go back to this point. Really? I've been in this position before. Oh yeah, that's a good jump. A little rubbing on the side of the panel there and we're good. Okay, this time we're gonna choose the right one now that I know what happens. So if you choose the right one, do you just get to pass without, oh, it just teleports you ahead. 
And we've got a checkpoint. Survive for three minutes. Also, you have to pick a different car for this one. So I'm guessing now there's a different section of cars that I transform into. Cause it looked like the, uh, it looked like the hauler was the last one I was allowed to transform into in the last one. All right, three minutes. All right, so we've got a couple of rocket launchers and then you got, what is, what is this? Is this a vehicle raid? <laughs> I have to deal with the rocket launchers and a vehicle raid for three minutes? Are you kidding me? It's kind of okay though, because I feel like I could have a lot of different vehicles and make this work. So we're down to 230. Yeah, this isn't that bad. This got a, oh, ah, no. Okay, so now I get the 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 side-by-side. -side. That's kind of nice. I actually really like the side-by-side. -side. In fact, if I keep this around, that'd be great. So now we're down to two minutes left. That's a hit. <laughs> Uh, oh no, that's a hit. Oh wow, there's a lot of military style vehicles. What? There's an entire jumbo jet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, this is Armageddon. This, oh, and all the vehicles just stay. No way. Oh my God, it's just total chaos. Okay, we're we're getting there though. I feel like, I don't know how much time is left. I think the timer is down to like 1.30 or something. There's entire gigantic prop-driven planes falling down to the ground. No, a door! Ooh. This is a good selection of cars. It's getting to the point where I can't drive around anymore. Problem is I can't stay in one spot because I, all these guys keep shooting the rock, ah, keep shooting the rockets at me. So I have to mention something to you guys real quick. My game just crashed because of, oh my God because of how many vehicles got loaded into the area by the vehicle rain. And I go to Alex, I'm like, Alex, my game is crashing. He's like, well, yeah, the, the video is every time you crash. So now I have to deal with not only my car crashing, but my computer crashing. Amazing. Ah! Okay. The run is looking good so far. I've got like, 30 seconds left or something? Yeah, 30 seconds left. I just, oh my God, I hit like a scooter. Oh, come on. I did have to survive for a little bit longer. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening, it's zero. It says zero. Yes! Oh my God, we have a checkpoint. Oh, there's a slowdown stick. Oh, I'm giving a motorcycle here. Okay, that's different. Careful. I mean, I've been trying to be careful. If it's not my vehicle crashing, it's my computer crashing. All right. So, angry traffic highway. Oh, whoa, 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 really? Does that count? Apparently it does. Oh, I got a quad. Whoa, what is going on with the traffic over here? Oh, I got a jumping vehicle. Although I crashed immediately because it's impossible to land. Oh, this is a whole new set of vehicles that I get. I got the Batmobile. All right, so I can kind of bust my way out of there. Full flip, sticks the landing. I'm gonna move through all of the vehicles on this list here with great speed. Oh, it's my truck, like in real life. Ow. All right, everyone needs to calm down. I said calm down. What did he put the traffic up to 11? Also, is everyone barreling toward me? Yeah, the traffic, the traffic isn't trying to avoid me. The traffic is coming toward me. Look at it. Oh, it's heat seeking traffic. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is gonna be impossible. I have no idea how I'm gonna beat this section. Oh boy. Oh, this is good, but I'm assuming all this still counts as a crash. Unless this is the last vehicle that you get. It is not. It is not. Oh, what comes after this? Oh my God. <laughs> so when you said eventually you need to get like bigger vehicles, Alex, is this one of them? Can I just grind my way through this? Oh, everything's exploding. Everything's on fire. My vehicle is burning. Ow, it's total bedlam. This right here is a normal day in Florida. Okay. Um. I need to stay in this motorcycle as long as possible. The motorcycle is the only thing. Jesus. The motorcycle is the only thing that moves fast enough to where people don't realize that they need to try and murder me. Look, 
I'm able to get through most of them before the yeah see now they're starting to turn ah oh, no now they're starting to turn easy because of how slow i'm going also what is this turn around turn around why oh my god you have to go back the other way this one's called drunk highway all right i needed to go back to the beginning the motorcycle is is the is the way oh god well so much for the motorcycle this must be what it feels like to be like a sock inside of a washing machine. Imagine being a Floridian weatherman. People would be like, how's the weather looking today, Gray? It looks like fire. The funny part is I think I'm literally crashing so much that the script can't keep up. This is what it's like trying to get to work in Satan's backyard. Oh, this is doing really good. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a matrix level stuff right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Whoa, no! No, the motorcycle lasted for so long! Okay, it's okay. I've got the quad. The quad is still pretty small. Well, I had the quad. In case you were wondering what drunken traffic was, do you see what's happening right now? This is what happens when you get a little bit down the road of the drunken traffic. Okay, I've gotten to the drunken traffic area. I had the motorcycle for about one second. The drunken traffic is insane. Just when I finally figured out... Okay, hold on. I can jump around... Well, so much for that. I was gonna say, I could jump around a lot of this. Just when I had gotten to the point where I understood how the heat-seeking traffic works on the other side, now I have to deal with this. All right, here's the plan. We're just gonna let this run. We're gonna get through this with the dump truck. Cause I'm almost there. Oh, it's a checkpoint. Oh, it's a checkpoint. It's right there. It's right there. I just have to push a little bit farther and not blow up at the checkpoint. Oh, yes. What is this? Uh, is this a ramp? <laughs> I can't get it with the dump truck. Oh my God, restarting put me back here. The checkpoint isn't a real checkpoint. It's like a teleport. It's okay. I have a plan on how to basically cheat his board. Basically what I did was use the vehicles to hop over the median <laughs> and get to the side. There's like no invisible wall. So I've got this vehicle. I think anything. Oh my God. What does this turn into next? Oh, the bus. I'm not giving up. Okay. Well, it's just turned into the truck. This run, oh yes, oh thank god. I was gonna say, this run, I've got a pretty good vehicle, I've got the truck, I think it has enough speed, and we have a winner! Well, the vehicles got bigger and my lifespan got smaller. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.